You're listening to Needless to Say, another disgraceful member of the Damaged Goods Podcast Network. Check out us and other great shows at damagedgoodsinc.com. All right, I'd love to come on here and do another intro about how far we've come as needless to say. I mean, it is our 50th episode, and yeah, we're proud. But that story, it's already been told. And our listeners are probably a little sick of us patting ourselves on the back just for doing something that we said we were going to do anyway. Besides, in two weeks, we have a very special one-year anniversary episode to do the same exact fucking thing. But I do have to honor one of the members of this show for his ethics, his compassion, and his, yeah, I have to say it, his pure American heroism. And amazingly enough, I'm talking about Mike. Now, anyone who's listening to this show knows how we usually pick on Mike. We knock him for his injuries, his endless job hunts, his pubic beard. His cooking meat at 725 degrees. But there are times when Mike does things that kind of defy humor. Things that we can't really make fun of. Things that no red-blooded American could ever mock. Mike's a real hero. Because this week, he saved a person's life. So we're going to change our approach this week. And we're not going to lead off with a rant or a joke. This is so much bigger than another dose of standard guy humor. Mike's looking at me right now because he knows what story I'm about to tell. It all happened when Mike was heroically making his way to work on just his third day in the new office. He was crossing the Mount Hope Bridge, which is local, just a few miles south of here. It's a particularly tall and narrow suspension bridge. And the bridge is closed off to pedestrians for obvious reasons. And that's exactly what happened on Wednesday. At 7 a.m. with the sun just clearing the eastern horizon, Mike noticed a pedestrian on the center of the bridge at the tallest point of the expanse, and it was a woman. And she was staring lifelessly towards the sunrise, closer to the edge than anyone should ever be. There was surprisingly little traffic on the bridge at this time of the morning, so it would have been very easy for Mike to drive on by and let someone else handle whatever was happening there. But that's not Mike. That's not a hero. Mike slowed the car to a complete stop near the girl and quietly got out, so as not to startle the young woman. He cautiously approached her from the side, hoping she'd notice him in her peripheral vision. Sure enough, it worked, and she turned to look at her potential knight in shining armor. Mike asked gently, Is everything okay? She replied meekly, No. No, it's not. Mike, sensing the worst, acted quickly and moved closer. She chimed in nervously and yelled, I'm going to commit suicide! Now, Mike could have grabbed her and wrestled her down from the ledge, but instead, he tried to get her to do it herself choosing calm over brute force. Please come here. You're too pretty and kind to hurt yourself. I would love to give you a hug and let you know everything is going to be okay. Amazingly, this show of compassion was all it took. The girl stepped down slowly and went to Mike, embracing him warmly, as if no one had ever been kind to her before. As the hug lingered and a crowd gathered near this amazing scene, the girl saw an opportunity and gave Mike a long, feverish kiss on the mouth. And even though Mike's a married man, he didn't want the moment to end, but he knew he had to. So he stopped the kiss, held her reassuringly, and asked the question everyone around him was wondering. You're so pretty, warm, and kind. And that was an amazing kiss. Why would you ever want to kill yourself? Because my parents hate that I keep dressing up like a girl. Mic drop, hit that music. (laughs) Welcome back to Needless to Say. I'm Craig. I'm here with Brad and Mike. What's going on, guys? It's uh, It's been a while. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. What, a couple weeks? Yeah. But it seems we like an eternity because it even does. the last show that we did, it was the Cycle Show. It was the Cycle Show. Which was a great show. Oh, I had a blast. I had awesome an absolute time. blast. But let's be real. I mean, if you're new to the show, somebody jumped on board and they heard us hanging out in the backyard with a the band, they probably think, well, these guys just interview bands. 
Yeah, yeah. And so it wasn't maybe the best episode to leave up there for two weeks. Yeah. But <laughs> shit happens. And you know what happened? We told everybody the truth. We yeah. just really didn't feel like doing it last week. Yeah, just there we was got, too many things. Fell. There's a lot of shit going on. A lot of stuff and... going on. Things just didn't. It wasn't working out. It was it like was ten be... minutes in. Yeah, and I stopped Craig and I said, "No, it's not working. This just isn't happening." Oh tonight. yeah, we actually sat down and and started, started the show. Record. We did everything, and then we we didn't like the way it was going, and we all agreed. All at yep. the same time, basically. Yeah, we we're like, "No, nah, this ain't working. Not working." But the good Me news and you is, you have an argument about the schmoo. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's that's what killed it. Yeah. Brad, that's, right that's there was I like, threw up the white flag. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, guys, I, say I will not have my name attached to this. I don't even have my, I don't even have my last name attached. That's right. I, about I didn't that. even want you to tarnish my first name. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but because we love you, we're, we're going to use mostly the same outline. Yeah, yeah, it right. works out. It, it works does out. work, and it's uh, episode fifty. It 50. is, and I think that's part of the reason we wanted to be a little selective. Yeah. Not that 50 matters so much, because like I said in the intro, in two weeks we've got the 52 episodes, yeah, exactly. which means a year, and then after that it's going to be 100, and before well, you know Well, guys, we, we actually have more than 50 episodes, if you think oh, about it. Oh, we do. I mean, 58 is yeah, what I counted the last yes. time. Yeah. <laughs> but we're being special about this. i got to say, you know, we haven't mentioned Damaged Goods in a while, but uh, we've been listening to all the shows on the Damaged yeah. Goods Network, and you know what? Everybody's really starting to fucking bring it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, like every show is been good. put out arguably their best episodes in the last couple of weeks. Yep. The same time we decided to take a fucking week <laughs> yeah. off. Yeah, yeah, I know. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So so we we've, we've got a bunch of inside well, we gotta, jokes we with the band him, we love. We got to give them time to catch up, dude. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't talked to anybody on the network yeah. in a long time, but <laughs> I think my friend Clay is going to drive some miles to beat your ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. That's I like right. that. Can't wait. Should we get my Clay shirt next week? Son of a yep. bitch. Yeah. <laughs> thanks thanks for pointing out that the other two didn't buy any. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dick. We're going to get on it, Clay. Don't worry. No, but how was, how was your week? Otherwise, your week, your two weeks, Mike? Freaking great, man. Started a new job. Yep. Fucking gainfully employed. Real job. a good job. Yeah. Really good job. It's the same job we mentioned on the cycle episode. It You're is. still yeah. it there. Is. It yeah. is. Actually, on the cycle episode, I hadn't started that job yet. I don't think. No, you were starting that Monday. I was starting the next. Yeah. But it's freaking great, man. I love it. I just want to know, though, how long until you go back to the Salvation Army for round three? Fuck, yeah. never. <laughs> yeah. Never, never, ever. <laughs> never, unless it's for charity on yep. a weekend or something, but that's about it. Are you hoping to find, like, a shit in a box at this new job somewhere? <laughs> if I'll tell you what, if there's a shit in a box, it's going to be my fault. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's right. right. You're working quality yeah. control. Yeah. yeah. So. I just want to see a shit show up in a box and you somehow turn it into a lovely keychain. <laughs> yeah. Something you you can machine. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. No, it's a great job. I'm having a good time. Making decent money, you know, and it's it's, it's a job. It's great being out of the house. Yeah. I got to say frig, this. Man. For the second week in a row, and I'm going to make a joke I made on the, the lost 10 minutes from last <laughs> week. But for the second week in a row, I've seen Mike in a collared shirt. Right? <laughs> okay. He's been out of work for roughly five hours. Yeah. <laughs> He's still wearing a collared shirt, I'm but not, it's like a khaki-ish listen, gray. Th- you look like the croc hunter if they found him still floating in the water. Yeah. <laughs> it's like nobody ever big, claimed him. Except, except just a stingray <laughs> next to him, just really pissed off. Except He's like, for a big out hole of- in my shirt in the in the chest area. <laughs> yeah. But no, that's terrible. You can see bubbles in the water that spell that's out terrible. cranky. But I'll tell you what, man. Hey, you know what? I got home from work, took a shower. And put this on just for you guys. This is not from work. I put this on just for you, Chris. Oh, Showing up you. in I my garage you. is a <laughs> night <laughs> out for you. Yeah. yeah. This it is what qualifies for you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy, man. I'm happy, guys. You know, freaking, I'm, I'm going to be able to buy beers. D- yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah, I know you, you did. Started this Thanks week. for the beers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, Listen, you'll you'll forgive us if we look, weren't shit's, we weren't shit's, too confident that this was gonna last. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. Shit's changing. Mike's gonna buy beers. Brad's gonna drive me to the next episode. Holy crap! Yeah, it's that like is bizarre. True. Land. That is true. I bizarre finally, land. after Mike shuttling me around uh, for a week plus, um, turns out uh, I got a car. I went out and I bought a car, and it, it took me a while because I had the one dealer in Rhode Island, or yeah. anywhere for that matter, one used car dealer that actually gave a shit about the car. Yeah, Not a car, 
a Jeep. I got a Jeep Grand Cherokee. Awesome. Yeah, nice one. And too. it was it was like really it. the cream of the crop in 2004, which is the model year. <laughs> yeah. It was the cream of the crop in 2004. <laughs> she's a young pup. Yeah. <laughs> now, she just needs to get to and fro, and she's doing a good job. She's fine. So, yes, Craig, nice. technically I, like I am it. able to pick you up and take you to Mike's now. But I just want to make a related announcement. All of the shows now will be recorded here in Studio B. Yeah, <laughs> and that's it. Yeah, we're in Studio B tonight. I, I would have driven over there tonight, but I got temp tags, and I like you said, I don't think there's anything that screams, "Hey, stolen car!" Better than two o'clock in the morning and a guy with temp tags driving yeah. very cautiously. Yeah, yeah exactly. In an old, in an older vehicle, too. Exactly. Especially exactly. the you know, way it'd be you one look. One thing if it was a 2018, <laughs> you know what I mean, and you had temp tags, and you were driving at night, and they were, you know. But when you're driving a used vehicle... Look at his face. And no matter what vehicle he's driving at, 2 in the morning, if I'm a cop, I'm pulling, pulling him his over. ass yeah. over. How about... Did you, oh, did you guys hear this guy? But did you hear about that guy that pulled over, that was impersonating a cop? And he pulled over um, an unmarked state trooper vehicle with no two state way. troopers. Oh, Clay it? talked about no this. No way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, it was Clay was talking about it. Really? And, oh, my God. I was dying laughing. It was hilarious, man. No kidding. Yeah, imagine that. That's real. For those yeah. of you who don't know who Clay is, that's Clay Time in the Basement. Check it out. Awesome Great show. show. Okay, if you don't Great subscribe, show. you're wrong. Just do Great it. Great dude. Yep. But, yeah, Clay was talking about it. it was, I couldn't believe that. Love his Pulled energy. Two cops. Yeah, and the, the balls on them. But, you know, I feel like we're hearing more and more of those stories now because people are just getting stupider and ballsier all at once. And that's yeah. not a good combination. No. No, trust no, me, it's not. not. at all. <laughs> but anyway, so, I, I mean, what did you guys think of the cycle show? I know I don't want to get too far into it, but, I mean, these guys... I had a blast, man. I, I had such a blast. It was great. We had, we, I mean, we've been friends with these guys for so long. I felt like we really wanted to have that conversation. We've already had that conversation. Yeah, But I did. wanted to have it on the air. And you know what was crazy? As much as we went almost, what, three and a half hours? Yeah. There was probably 20 questions playing the episode back that I still knew I wanted to ask and never did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Conversation just never went that I way. I mean, we, we found out a lot lot of stuff that we wanted to you know ask and everything it freaking it went great and it, it was, was just a great time. fun it, it was, was we all busted each other's balls had a good time bunch the, of laughs the cooler of doom i'm still feeling the pain the, from that i drank the worst beer i ever drank in my fucking <laughs> oh life. yeah you, well you guys didn't you guys didn't hit up that was, hawaiian was, beer that oh, i had yeah, yeah, that well hold on we, you and i had the milwaukee milwaukee's uh reserve uh what was it milwaukee was it milwaukee best no, no it, wasn't it wasn't milwaukee best. it was milwaukee msr Select Reserve, maybe? Select Reserve. That's what it was, yeah. yeah. I mean, so, like, when you strive for Milwaukee's best, <laughs> but you're not quite there. Yeah. yeah. You want reserve. Like, you're, you're Milwaukee's second best. That's what we drank that yeah, night. Best, exactly. the, the best The best thing of all night uh, on the beers that I remember was, <laughs> what's his name? Schlitz. Wow, this is good beer. This oh, is great. Joe. Yeah, Joe. Joe, Joe is Schlitz. all, all loving happy. the Schlitz. I'm like, dude, yeah. I remember drinking those. He's the only one good beer that I ever heard of. I know. <laughs> so that was, you know That's true. That, that is thing. true. At least you've heard of Schlitz before. That's so, true. Uh, yeah, I think we're, we're, we're going to have those guys back down, but we're going to do it differently next time. They're going to come yeah. to us. And they're going to just sit in and do a show with us. And do it's a not going to be about the band. And no. All that. Because we, we did our behind the music. And it won't we be got a, into the history of the band. Yeah. And we, we got into all of the things that made it a rock and roll show. Yeah. And, it won't, and it won't be outdoors with fireworks going on, even though you couldn't hear them, but we could. I won't, yeah. I won't be, be sitting in a stack of lawn chairs. <laughs> yeah, <exactly>. literal, <laughs> Brad was sitting Brad, in a literal stack of top. chairs. There was like four <laughs> chairs stacked on top of each other. He was sitting on like a throne. His feet were dangling he off the floor. Like, he looked like a little kid. He was like Queen Zelda sitting yeah. at the top of the throne. <laughs> <laughs> like his, like, his, his feet weren't even touching yeah. the I felt like looked, I needed to monitor the flow of the show. <laughs> yes. It was so funny. The stack of chairs made him look so tiny. It looked like, you know those kids that have that disease that make them look like old people? Was it oh Pugeria or whatever the fuck it is? <laughs> I don't know. Terrible. I know what is Benjamin Button disease. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what the fuck that is. But on that note, on the Benjamin Button note, to cycle. To cycle. Oh, I got yep. two beers cheers, in front of me cheers, right now, and they're cheers. both open. Yep. Thank you, you guys. guys. We're going to do it again. And thank you all for who are new to the show for listening to that. wasn't an easy listen, but it was worthwhile, and I think you got a vibe for who we are and who they are. And uh, if you're in the area, go check them out. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Awesome. Great time. Good good band. Um, My week, on the other <sighs> hand, has blown hard. <laughs> like... I don't, you know, you guys know that I don't know, I don't drink during the week ever. Lies. And last night, 
I tied one on. You used just to. out of pure frustration. I, I used to, but now I'm older. <laughs> and well, I knew something was up when you texted me, and you're like, "Yeah, I'm like a case in." Yeah, and, and you never well, you usually drinking. keep score. No, yeah. like, like well, for, you, you acknowledge that you're 44 years old, and you don't keep score of how many you no. drank. You're just like, "Yeah, I'm I'm tying one on." No, yeah, actually, no. Yeah, I think you. How many mics you had? Like a six pack of six pack of mics, and then you went on to beers after that. Oh, I drank. I ended up he drinking was here, an you entire 12 pack of mics, and you. then I was drinking IPAs after that. IPAs, and then I think I ate, drank a couple of Red Apple ales. <laughs> oh, I was just drinking everything that was in my refrigerator. I was so, in. A, I was on a mission. So you got up about 18 minutes before the show tonight. <laughs> yeah, and, and then I ate a rotisserie chicken standing up at my counter and just made a fucking mess. My wife was not happy this morning. Dogs gotta, all over your feet. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that is the second most ghetto thing I've heard this yeah. week. The first most ghetto thing, I forgot to mention this earlier, Mike, had at one point me, last I was week, say. Yeah. When it, before I got the car last week, I had to walk the kids to school yep. to get picked up for camp and everything. And it's not close, but it's not far. So I did the walk. And I'm walking with my children at 8 o'clock in the morning. People are driving by with judgment. Like, look at this guy. He doesn't <laughs> own a car. Walking his, walking his yeah, kid. Like, that guy's got a DUI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> and along exactly. comes a fat Check guy. Check out the black heavy metal T-shirt that guy's wearing. Yeah. He's definitely like, he has the kids he had this week. Yeah. He had a Slayer shirt on, dude. He had a Slayer shirt on. He's yeah. walking his kids. If I had a flat brim cap <laughs> yes. and was just vaping constantly, oh, yeah. it. I would have looked like somebody who had partial, you know, like I, guardianship I over my children. I wouldn't have stopped. <laughs> but anyway, well, would... that's just it, though. The, I don't know what's worse, walking down a major road oh, with two children in tow so or having a guy in an old Subaru show up, pull up next to you, say, get in. Yeah. And you're like, and, <laughs> okay. And then throw my kids into the back of a strange car and drive off. I swear. <laughs> I don't know what's worse. I <laughs> I saw a lady behind us on her phone. I was like, please don't be calling the cops right now. <laughs> well, obviously, she did. Mike peeled out with all four horses. <laughs> all four <laughs> horses. <laughs> Three and a half. That thing's dogging it. Yeah. God, even the horse in your house is retarded. <laughs> <laughs> Oh uh, shit! Anyway, I didn't mean to interrupt. But no, I, no I had to deal. get that in there. Man. But then <laughs> there was the one thing that happened to me this week that made me laugh was I get a text from my neighbor, and he's like, "Hey, got this delivered today," and it's a card from the U.S. from the U.S. Postal Service, but it says it's for the ca the carriers, and it says, "Do not deliver this." You know what I mean? And it's a card for the person who's ever who's on that route. It explains to them, you know, what to expect what to on expect. the route. Like oh, if so there's it's, dogs. Or, so you know, it was mistakenly, it was put, mistakenly into put into my neighbor's mailbox. <laughs> oh, nice. And and it said, um, you know, it had my address and my last name. And it said, um, dogs Douche. in yard, they will bark. <laughs> you know, and, like, and it said, Rottweiler Chocolate Lab. A they Chinese will looking white woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All then, will bark equally loud. <laughs> but then then the best was, and it said That's so true. And also, um, neighbor, neighbor, pug, rude. <laughs> Pug is rude. <laughs> it said my neighbor's dog was rude. That is funny. And all I kept thinking was like, so what's going on? Like, I see my dogs are barking at him. The guy's putting the mail in the box, and the pugs just flipping him off in the fucking corner <laughs> of the yeah. eye. Like, you know, like, giving him side eye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking rude. What are you He's about? at the end of the driveway with the card, like checking yeah. this off, checking that off. Yep, rude. But it was so rude. funny. Navy blue shorts, fairy. They constantly. <laughs> 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 oh shit! Oh. No, but it's funny because they consistently fucking deliver my mail to my house and my neighbor's. I mean, my my neighbor's mail to my house and my mail to my neighbor's house consistently, on a daily basis. My neighbor is walking to my house and putting mail in my mailbox. For, you know, and it said on that card in gigantic fucking capital letters. You saw the picture? Oh yeah, it was funny. It's gig. Do no not deliver. Fucking right in the mailbox. <laughs> like, yeah. They're fucking well, stupid. Well, what are the requirements to work as a postal carrier in Warren, Rhode Island? Legs. Yeah. That's what <laughs> Which you have to show off wearing those blue shorts. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you have to drive the one non-manly Jeep. So you have, so you have a, new, a new mailman? 
mail carrier. No, nah, we we you just get, say Melman. Yeah, Melman. Like that's just like Hebrew name. Melman. <laughs> Melman. <laughs> Melman. Phil <Yeah>. Melman. Melman. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, we've got uh, <laughs> Melman. <laughs> no, nah, we usually consistently have this. It's a it's a female. But once in Joshua a while, we Milman. get got, you know we, we'll get a different we'll get you know a different person once in a while. I guess if she's on vacation or whatever. But it's usually consistently the same person. But I don't know what the fuck they're doing over there. They're yeah, stuff. well, imagine imagine the next time that somebody has to fill in for that dude. They don't have that. They card. don't have that card anymore. They're screwed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they won't know about that, that angry white Asian person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that rude pug. <laughs> That's fucked up. All right, so we got a bunch of headlines tonight, guys. Let's get right to it. I, I, I think it's pretty safe to say we had a weird week. Yeah, yeah. It's never it's, not going to yeah. be a weird week, but no. I think it's, if you're new to the show, Craig hates his job. Yeah. <laughs> Mike loves the fact that he has a job, and I never mentioned my job. So, <laughs> I know. The worst part up? is I hate my job, and I own the business, <laughs> and I fucking hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to just quit, but you I would have it. to fucking you love it. There's nothing like working for yourself. I have to file that all that paperwork because I quit. You know, well, you know what? <laughs> the only fucking paperwork you You're file is surrounded you, by you, water. This is what I want to know about you. You're surrounded by the ocean. Okay, you live in a, an absolute summer vacation paradise. Why don't you take a few days and go to the fucking beach? F- no <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, I don't even- Fuck the beach. Especially the weather we've been having. Oh, my it's God. It's been hot it's as balls. brutal. The last thing I would do is go to the fucking beach. So stupid. I'm so glad you live in the ocean state. Surrounded by water on three so sides. I hate the water. No, I love the water, but I'm not going to go and throw a towel down and sit in the fucking no, sand gay. and bake in the sun like a fucking, like I'm a fucking hot dog on a grill. But then you <laughs> fucking sand all in your ass. Yeah. It's, it's bullshit. They were like, oh, oh, we'll bring some sandwiches. Oh, great. Yeah. And I'm He's just mad because it chafes <laughs> later. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and bring some sandwiches and I'll be eating warm friggin' mayonnaise that's been sitting on the fucking beach you know, for hours. I, I'll, great. Go, I'll go if I'm fishing. <laughs> Here we go. Egg oh, salad. Yeah. Let's have egg salad. Egg salad. Yeah, yeah, the the stick egg salad. that right in the yeah. sun. <laughs> Put that in the sun, the mayonnaise. <laughs> but, I mean, I'll go to the beach and go fishing, but I am not sitting on the fucking beach. No. It's stupid. Sit on, and on I'm not swimming truck. in the fucking water either. I'll agree with you. Because it's fucking gross. It is gross. And not only that, I don't give a fuck. People bust my balls all the time. But I'll tell you one thing right now. There's fucking sharks in the water. Right? <laughs> <laughs> this is not news. You know that, right? <laughs> and sharks as much as people water. around here be like, there's no <laughs> sharks around here. I don't give a shit. If you go to Newport Beach. There's sharks everywhere. There is... At any given time, there's a freaking shock within 100 yards of you. Yeah, <laughs> guaranteed. <laughs> guaranteed. I stay out of the water, too. One, because all that foam, whale jizz. Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> there's no two ways about it. Nope, that's <laughs> what it is. Some whale, because they're mammals, yep. jerk off. Yeah. And, and the whales are just sitting there, just, just like right over the shelf. Like yep. just when the water drops, they're just sitting there going, oh, look at all those people. Uh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And then but all of a sudden fin- you see a hundred their- tourists just going, oh, the foam, it feels so beach. But their yeah. fins are so short. How did they reach? Well, it's, I didn't say it was easy. But, uh, <laughs> Maybe so that, they that's do part it to of each it. other. Also, I have 100% chance of never being eaten, bitten by a shark. Yep. Because I can go in the ocean. Exactly. It's just that simple. It's just that, that simple. and your diabetes. They don't yeah. want any diabetes. Yeah. Yeah, I don't taste yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want any diabetes. And food. nothing like laying down, like throwing out your blanket and move the syringes out of the way. <laughs> you know what I mean? And fucking and lay down on the beach with the broken glass. The other it's day, I was, the other day, I, who doesn't want to go? go? Ahead, go ahead. No, sorry. no. The other day, I was at, I actually at the beach with my dog. We were walking, and there was a tractor, freaking drag, dragging a big rake, just cleaning all the trash out of this fan. Fucking tons of so trash. So bad, dude. It was terrible. Oh my god. It's fucking. Gross. And it was just like you, the dog, and that one old man that's always there, and the with yeah. like the the tight. Shorts and the perma boner. Yeah, yeah. He, he walks around like it's a divining rod, just navigating his way <laughs> through the beach. <laughs> and he comes and talks to you, and he's always there with like he's got a roll of nickels, and he's just sitting there, and he's like, "Yeah, how are you doing today, Brad? Right? You nice know weather the, we're having. Yeah, what's his name, Brad? You know his name. Obviously, you know his freaking what he does, Marty. Marty. <laughs> yep, it is him. Son of a bitch, it's the same guy. Oh uh, shit! But it's funny, uh. 
ironically, it leads us into a ne- we transition into our next. <laughs> that was imagine how that imagine works. Imagine how out. that worked out, right? Holy shit! We should write no. these things down. <laughs> but it's funny because, but here you go, and this explain. This is another danger. Another of the reason beach. not to go to the That's beach. That's right. Even. Out of the water. Even out of the water, just you're still laying in danger. on the beach. You're in you're peril. You're fucking peril at any point because you could be impaled by a fucking gigantic <laughs> lawn dart fucking umbrella. A like, beach umbrella. Do explain, somebody, because I didn't read the headline. <laughs> Woman was at the beach enjoying a fine day. <laughs> Sanding her ass, eating fucking dirt sandwiches the whole nine yards. Right? And, and, and this wasn't yeah. like in a weird remote place. This was in Ocean no. City, Maryland. Yes, yes. The and Redneck Riviera. I used eating, to hang out. There. Eating hot mayo sandwiches. Yeah. And a gust of wind came along and picked up a beach umbrella, which was rented by the beach. They rent them. People go and stick them in the sand. Apparently, it wasn't stuck in the sand far enough. <laughs> And they didn't sign the waiver. The, didn't they? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Did this guy get his deposit back? The guy who rented it, like what, right? after he washed off the spleen. Yeah, <laughs> because it, the wind sucked it up off the ground, tossed it into the air, and drove it straight through this woman laying on the beach. Literally impaled this into woman. her chair. Yeah, into her chair. Into her chair. She was stuck to the chair. Stuck to the chair. They had to wait. Fire for... department had to come and cut it away. Yeah, and then. Lifeguards were actually Pull holding it stable so it wouldn't cause more damage. How long was she sitting there before somebody around them noticed? Because if you know anything about the beach, everybody's kind of fucking clueless. Yeah, yeah no, it's just like attention. whatever. I mean, I've seen people get blowjobs on the beach. I've seen kids shitting on the beach. Yeah. I've seen so many things happen, and everybody just turns a blind eye. So, how long was it before somebody finally said, oh, All right, she's bleeding out. I got to go. I mean, that, poor, <laughs> that poor kid in the kid got mauled on the beach by a shark, and nobody ever noticed it. <laughs> and it was a crowded beach, right? It was a crowded beach. There's another reason not to go to the beach. Yep. No one pays attention. <laughs> no one right? knows what the fuck's well, going they on. Did. Nobody wants to give up their fucking spot because they got there early. And they've got to get, get onto their... the yeah. beach. It's like, uh, it's like, oh, yes. Nothing to worry about. This is great. No, it's not. But no. I mean, there's if I know anything blows. about Ocean City, because I did used to hang out there. Flying. And I called it the Redneck Riviera. And it is true. It, it really is. It's a boardwalk full of shit. Yep. And hotels full of shit. <laughs> and then there's a lot of bars and... Full of shit. Yeah, full of shit. Full <laughs> of yeah. shit. <laughs> there's one really good bar there. It's called Secrets. And it's on the other side. It's on the bay. And they give you an inner tube and a, like a bracelet. And then you basically go out and you float in the water. And then the waitress wades out to you bringing you drinks. Yeah, while really? While you yeah. float in the bay. And there's no threat of sharks there because it's all fenced in. Oh, yeah. nice. And let me Netty. tell you, it's not like that scene in Jaws where he... Decide to go hunting on the other side. Yeah. No, he's you're you're chill, and you can hang there and drink rum runners for like ridiculously stupidly cheap prices. Really? That's the only place worth going to an ocean. And, and that's what the tube's for to keep your drunk ass afloat. Yeah. <laughs> well, well not only that though, it serves as a shield that if you get into the because it's way high enough, you can stand up. Yeah. And you yeah. can. F- Guard off flying umbrellas in case they, <laughs> <laughs> they come pummeling towards your head. Could you imagine just sitting there in this gigantic... I mean, picture, um- picture a, 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 an umbrella. Like, those things are like... That's like an that's, inch and a half. That's like, like an inch and a half diameter, diameter pole. pole. Like, you were speared. Isn't that what Leslie fears every Friday night? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. No, that's what you come she flying from across she the too. room. To, that's what she, she strives for. Yeah. <laughs> and she too will get speared in the ankle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Mike's eyes are going bad. Yeah. <laughs> really fucking bad. Oh, like, it's crap. 10 minutes before she's like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, honey. Go to sleep now. You're all done. Are you almost it's there? Okay. Are you almost bed. there? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, honey. Go to sleep now. It's all, it's all right. <laughs> It was good. It was good. It was good. Go Knowing the people I used to hang out with in Maryland, I wouldn't be surprised if they start throwing horseshoes right on this bitch while they were waiting for yeah, the no MTs to come. Ring her. Ring her. I got to ring her. Imagine that bitch bleeding out. Oh, my God. Out. Okay, and she's just getting clocked in the head. <laughs> with with rubber coated horseshoes. horseshoes. <laughs> Clang. Got it. Oh. You oh think when the, when That's the, great. Because like, the lifeguards are holding the poles still. Now, I know that if I was like, you know, serious situation holding the pole and stuff, and if it was like me and Mike or me and Brad holding the pole at one point, (laughs) 
I would look at you <laughs> and then laugh, right? give it a quick you stroke. Know <laughs> you know it. You just know to, it. You know it. Just you to try it. to get you to laugh you while we were in it. this <laughs> dire situation. His blood scratting <laughs> on his I would stroke in that pool. I would have to. Yep. I can't imagine. Oh, this is a terrible situation. Ma'am. Help is on the way. Yeah. And then Craig looking the way. back with all the cameras going. <laughs> it's rubbing that, 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 that thing that up universal down. tongue in the cheek blowjob yeah. motion. You would have to. You would have to. Oh, man. <laughs> Mike, you actually asked the best question of the week, though. How big were this bitch's ankles? Yeah, no shit. <laughs> she got freaking. She got impaled in the ankle by one of those giant things. I mean. I mean, I'm you not know, a white guy. No, no I mean, they would us, graze off my yeah, ankles. Exactly, they would bring. But this chick had to have some fucking kind of cankles going on. Yeah, and 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 who's shopping the top of it? <laughs> she was she a dancer what? at beef? Why was it pointy? <laughs> was she <laughs> a dancer at beef, beef. dude? Why yeah, you know. Pointy? That's another thing. I guess too. to get it in all that sand, and then you, you yeah, get but, it in and yeah, you but twist. If right? it's flying, you think the top pot would would like like not a lawn the bottom pot. Like oh, do you think that's what flipped. happened? Maybe you think flipped. maybe the thing kind of collapsed on itself in the top of it? That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. Maybe Either that or maybe it got wrong. taken out and then flipped around and went that way. Who knows? Who fucking knows? Fuck the beach. Or maybe the whole thing's just made up and Marilyn's just looking to get on the map. <laughs> Trying to get some attention for exactly. their beach. <laughs> Listen, Our beaches are lovely. Come and be impaled <laughs> by fucking... <laughs> can, you, can you imagine that? <laughs> Once you come here, you'll never leave. Yeah. Okay. Because you can't. <laughs> Because you can't. <laughs> We're just going to tack you to the beach. Yeah. With you can't. With, 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 needless like to say, fucking God. <laughs> Don't tell Once you come to Ocean City, yeah. you stay. Oh, <laughs> needless to say, fuck the beach. Yep. Yeah, right? I mean, I know. <laughs> fucking I have an umbrella in my backyard. It's yeah. never once impaled anybody. Exactly. But the so I'm thinking young. if you want I got sand in my ass, too. Don't ask me how it got there. It wasn't from the beach. If you want a vacation. Next, no. <laughs> I'm kidding. There's one place that you're going to want to go. I know where. <laughs> and I think there, there, we have to go there because there's a need. Yes. Okay. As it turns out, a small Japanese city named Iga. I'm assuming <laughs> I'm pronouncing that right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a small town in Japan, and they're facing something crucial. It is. It's it, it, dire. It's devastating to people like us. As it turns out, there's a ninja shortage. <laughs> A ninja shortage. That's the best. Uh, they they actually are. They have a, an open call. For, yes, for the ninjas for unemployed ninjas to relocate to Iga. You know, much like they try to get teachers from the United States to go elsewhere, like to yeah. Mexico, and to teach them how to you know speak jump, jump fences. Yeah, jump fences. Yeah. <laughs> and speak Republican politics. Um, they're asking people to come to Japan and be ninjas because there is a ninja shortage. What I got to ask Man. is, if you know anything about ninjas, how do you know there's a ninja shortage? It's <laughs> <laughs> a very good chance they're all there. Yeah, they're all they there. just don't feel like working. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they maybe not, don't feel like doing the Mickey and Minnie thing today. Yeah, you know? They're they don't not as stealthy as they used to be back in the freaking... They care fat ninjas. <laughs> but it's just in their window. <laughs> I come from the shadows. Ninjas. Eventually. But... <laughs> I mean, the, the fucking crazy part about it is I, I'm ready to shut my business down and move to Japan because 85000 a year they're paying. And that goes a long way in Iga, right? Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, you know and, which price that'll But buy. my thing is, all right, I'll take the eighty five k. you know what I mean? And I'm getting a ninja costume, throwing stars, nunchucks, right? How I don't cool know. is that? It depends on... <laughs> I traded, I traded an entire kick-ass comic book collection as a kid. If I had the comic books that I had back then, <laughs> that's right. Right I now, remember that story. I, it would be insane the amount of money that I would have in you comic books. You sold a right? bunch of comic would it, books. No, for no, pajamas. no. I not traded sell. them. Not so. I traded them straight up for pajamas. For yeah. And a, a ninja <laughs> kit. It, it was a kit. Basically. It was a kit. What it made it a kit? Fake weapons uh, and everything. It came with the grappling no, it was real weapons. Come a on. grappling hook. Yeah, which which I got stitches from. <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> you're in. I tried to throw no the story. Didn't end that way. I, I threw it. Into, I tried throwing it into the tree, and it immediately just ricocheted <laughs> off the bridge, hit me right in the fucking head. <laughs> Done. Stitches. <laughs> got caught on your neck. Yeah. And the, the rest is history. <laughs> you're in. But. 
then I, you know, and, and then I had the Chinese stars and the nunchucks and shit. I wish it came with the fucking beach umbrella. <laughs> but but it's probably, maybe probably, that's why there's the shortage. They're all yeah, in Ocean yeah. City. Yeah. That wasn't a gust the of most, wind. The that most was devastating. Dangerous. Yeah, impaling those fat cankled women of Maryland. I can fucking see it now, man. A fucking ninja, fucking bent over, all fucking dark and shit, with a big giant fucking umbrella, fucking. But apparently they, they have with, it with just his Corona on it. <laughs> Since Corona on it. He whips that thing out. <laughs> God damn it. I can't wait for the for the you wind drink to those pick up. <laughs> so This wind picks up. I'm going to kick your ass. Their biggest thing is ninja tourism. Like, that's what, how they attract because they say that they're that town, that town, which originally that village is where ninjas came from. Yes. And you so, know how I know that? It's from fucking video games. That, yeah, that remember uh, yeah. Uh, whatever it was, an old game, but yeah, I'm a but geek. Yeah. What on earth, though? <laughs> what, what what is ninja tourism? Do well, they, they come have... like jump out at you with plastic swords and I'm scare ninja, the shit out of you? The festival, they're Wait. stealthy, so they could have thousands of them. They don't know. You know what I mean? <laughs> but... <laughs> they could have thousands of them. They <laughs> they're supposed know. to be stealth. Yeah, but anyway, stealth. They have festivals, and that's the thing. Cause they draw them in ninja festivals. Yeah, buying stars and nunchucks, and, and people else. are dressed. Like, well, that's and, just it. They're selling from... foam nunchucks. Can we just be real? Yeah, yeah that's exactly. all this is. That's all this is. Here they call it Comic Con. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I would love to watch Mike scaling the walls. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, just like jumping movie, on somebody. That free no, wasn't there a Chris Foley movie where he was a ninja? There was one, wasn't there? No, I think in one of the movies he dressed he as a dressed ninja. He dressed as a ninja, dude. Yeah. Imagine me dressed in that same friggin' costume. I do. I know you do. I imagine it you right imagine now. Every I would buy it for you. If you let that collar go any wider, you can yeah. just pull it around you. I don't <laughs> think they sell it. triple XL ninja <laughs> suits. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's got to be a clause. Look, if you're, if you're going to be With a ninja. holes in the front for smoking. <laughs> 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 if you're gonna be a ninja in Ega, there's got to be some kind of like clause in their ninja contract where for every pound overweight you are, you get a thousand dollars less a year, right? Yeah. So at eighty five thousand a so year, you're making like ten bucks. Well, six bucks. <laughs> I already did the math. I, I, I make six dollars. Yeah. I was gonna say you barely paid for the plane ticket to Ega. <laughs> I'd owe my. I'd owe. I'd owe the friggin' people. The money for the suit. <laughs> <laughs> I would owe that money for the Just suit. Just for you to jump out of a tree like, and breathe no. heavy on somebody. <laughs> no, you too big. You too big. No, you too big. <laughs> you too big. Go back. Go back. You too big. <laughs> Didn't see me coming. Didn't. <laughs> As you peel yourself off of an old woman. <laughs> You're right. I Ninja tourism. <laughs> Yourself you look at an oak tree and there's uh, two fucking half moons <laughs> sticking out the side of the tree. <laughs> Mike can take that plastic sword, shove it between his legs, start poking old women. Yeah. It's like stealthy, uh, stealthy, stealthy. stealthy. Uh, you don't know when I'm coming. Uh, <laughs> she, you are wet. She's like, probably, even the old woman's like, yeah, I know it'll be soon. <laughs> <laughs> A little pouch. He's got ninja stars and fucking little He's got twinkies. Little blow dots. He's got and a, a little donut. Twinkies. One donuts. and a half inch sword. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Leslie behind him just banging a gong. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, I want to be a ninja. I really oh, do. We got a lot more out of that headline than <laughs> I thought. <we> got. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's some Fuck. fucking funny shit, bro. Oh, so eighty-five grand to be a ninja, but that's clearly not the best-paying job out there. No. There was other jobs in the news oh. this week, and well, what I thought was a good-paying job, apparently it isn't because there is a porn star from England, which yes. is weird because I never think of British porn stars. No, I all just think much. they're from like Venezuela or or America, Germany. <laughs> but they're never porn stars. All the German ones are all just like amateurs. Gross. Yeah, yeah they're also yeah. gross. And they're, <laughs> not to, yeah. not to and they're always don't... in a nightclub. I know. There's yeah. always this weird, like, it's like a '70s Beef. retro disco <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and they're all in there, and all the women come in, and everybody's dancing to some kind of weird, seductive Techno groove. Next thing you know, cock and mouth. 
yeah. cock and mouth beef. and some blonde guy rolling his eyes back into his head. I, I cannot <laughs> stop thinking about beef. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can you at least explain it? For yeah, the you might want to explain it. What beef? Yeah. What do you, what, didn't we? Didn't we talk about beef? We well, yeah, but the, but the audience didn't. <laughs> Son of a bitch. It's a, right. a bit from Tom Segura. He's a comedian, and it's something we listened to to warm up tonight. To get it was the funny. Yeah, I'm we listened to a little bit. Yeah, funny as shit. But you made four references to this, so we oh, gotta leave beef. it in. Uh, beef. But actually, it's a good point because he was talking about a strip club. I'm talking about a porn star. It all ties yeah. in. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So this porn star in England, I don't remember his name. It's Johnny something. Jack Hammer. Jo- yeah, he's got nah, some. <laughs> it was something Hammer. like that. It's like Johnny Hooded Uncircumcised Monk or something yeah. like that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, he wants 5,000 pounds. And I don't just mean Mike. He wants 5,000 yeah. British asshole. pounds to be buried inside a giant remote controlled cock. Yep. And I like that. I, I actually, I think. It's what? money well spent. He needs 5000 to build the penis on wheels. It's on wheels. Because he admits, and this is pretty good thinking for a porn star, he admits, no one's going to want to be a pallbearer carrying a cock. <laughs> <laughs> unless, unless Craig got, dies tomorrow, then both of us are going to be fucking carrying a cock. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> nice. Sorry. But he actually followed it up saying this is quite a historical moment because no one has ever been buried or cremated in a penis before. And he might be right. He might be right. But there also is probably a reason why. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really I mean, dumb fucking idea. Yeah. I, I mean, like uh, it. Yeah, but look, five thousand dollars you're pounds. Fucking, pounds is like seventy five hundred dollars. Yeah. You're fucking <laughs> a casket's <laughs> expensive. Yeah, well, for he, one thing, he, what the fuck? He's a porn star, right? He's not like a porn. He's a British porn star. Maker. Take that with a he's a porn grain star. Of salt. Yeah. So what the fuck? You can't <laughs> you 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 can't uh, you know jimmy up fucking seventy five. That's what I mean. Bucks. Couldn't he just like plow fucking one girl and be yeah. all set? Not, not <laughs> no. only that though. No, but he's in British porn. No, yeah. Do you know what he does? He shoves his dick in between gaps in British women's teeth. That's yep. what he does. He just shoves it in there to a bunch of ugly women going, Harry Potter. <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> Harry Potter. Every time they put it in the ass, 10 points for Gryffindor. I wonder if he's got spotted dick. <laughs> spotted dick. Spotted, <laughs> spotted dick. <laughs> Same time I make a Gryffindor joke. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, this fucking non-porn star posted an 11-minute video. <laughs> Yeah, eleven minutes explaining. I, I haven't seen it. Oh my god! <laughs> to the point where he actually whipped out a dildo to illustrate. Yes. How Did it, it have work? wheels? Yeah, it was remote control. It was remote Are you freaking serious? Yeah, the whole was... thing was, and it, and it actually had uh, pneumatic. So it lifted so it like lift a cannon. Up. Like no, <laughs> like it was about like to it was shoot. erect. You know what I mean? It would yeah. go up. It would be great if he like there was a hole in the ground. And then the thing slid up, and then he shot out of the deck. That would be awesome. <laughs> Into the hole. Yeah. Oh my, it no, was almost, it. almost like the coffin was dropping its seed <laughs> yeah. back into the land. And he was just wearing a white tux. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and somebody in the background just going, oh. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> and then some woman in the back, not in my eye. No. <laughs> it's in my hair. <laughs> no, I mean... I like the idea of the fact that... Moaning Myrtle. <laughs> I like the fact that he's kind of uh, taking that traditional funerary bullshit and making it fun. You know what I mean? He's making fun funeral. of it. He knows he's dying. He's got, And the thing is, he's got terminal cancer. Oh, you know not what I mean? AIDS? No, oh. no, not AIDS. Terminal cancer. Um of so, his funeral, of the deserves... uncircumcised foreskin. Yeah, <laughs> get I mean, that shit chopped off. It's his off, funeral. <clears throat> Should have whatever the fuck. He no, wants. exactly. And not only that, he's he's making not a mockery of it. I think he's he's like, you know what? I want it to be fun. All right, but there was that you guy know? a couple weeks ago, who his parents decided rather than, and they've done this for years, but they decided, you know, this kid got shot. Yeah. But all he loved to do was sit on the couch and play video games. Yeah. So I they saw buried that. him sitting up. He was sitting on the couch with, and they put him in the front remote. of the room. Really? Yeah, Rather they, than laying him down in a suit he would have never worn on his own. 
dooming him to eternity yeah. in discomfort. Yeah. Okay, they put him in his favorite football jersey with an Xbox controller in his hands and sunglasses on because his eyes were rotted out from being dead. Yeah. Holy but, shit, is this my future? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> is this my fucking future? The, and you're the word you're looking right for now? is immediate future. Yeah. Immediate future. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, yeah, don't get too attached to those apples on your <laughs> <laughs> But seriously, though, man, it's, so this this big giant dong with wheels yep. is, re- is going to be re- is remote controlled, right? Yes. I would love to have the remote to that fucking thing <laughs> on that day. Imagine that. You'd be that giving would... them Viagra wheelies. Oh, oh, my God. I'd be doing wheelies all over the place. Driving I mean, it into yeah. all the women's butts. <laughs> 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 freaking chase the priest down and freaking drive him right into his pew. Now, that's the other thing. <laughs> <laughs> the Benny Hill music playing. Yeah, <laughs> all around the church. That's fucking great. No, but I mean, it's. I think it's funny. And, you know, whatever. It's funny. Fucking good so bury him. me good. like that. Yeah. I mean, don't bury me at all. Burn <laughs> me. You want to be buried in a giant penis? <laughs> no. He no. is a giant, <laughs> he he is a giant like penis. Week. Again with these fucking jokes. <laughs> <you don't> fuck. <laughs> no, you said bury me like that. He is a giant penis. No, no I, said, no, I like said bury me like, the like way in that something fun. Yeah. yeah. Like bury me in a hockey jersey. Bury me comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know? I would rather like, as I want to spend eternity. Your life. Yeah. Or just burn me and spread my ashes and then let a bunch of fucking local meth addicts Put smoke me in a pipe smoke and smoke. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. No, but I mean, yeah, exactly. And make it more a party atmosphere than, than the... I the agree pressing. with that. I agree that funerals should reflect more of the inv- individual than the traditional fucking The Mix bullshit. have been doing this right for years. Mix and bikers have been doing this right for yes. years. Yes. Yeah. Okay? They get drunk, and they celebrate, they play music, and they have a laugh. Because, honestly, do you really think, when I go, my first reaction is, I hope everybody's crying? No, yeah, you know, know what? I'm glad we yeah. were friends. We had a great time. I'm glad he's off the show because he talks too much, and I'm. I'm <laughs> glad he's out. But we that aside, that. good guy. We already good have guy. that episode written. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. I mean, it should be like a fucking party. Yeah, yeah. A celebration that's I mean. of life. And I, you know, I think that's the probably the second best idea for a party we read about this week. The first best idea for a party. Is being thrown by parents all around the world Fuck who've it. decided, and by best I mean fucking horrendous, <laughs> by the way. Uh, parents are throwing their daughters period parties because apparently sweet 16 wasn't enough. Because yep. you're not that sweet by the time you're 16. <laughs> yeah. Quinceaneras aren't enough because those Hispanic girls probably start this shit even earlier. But <laughs> I'm going to pay for that one. <laughs> But parents are throwing their daughters period <laughs> parties, probably around the ages of 11 to 13. And the idea is it's you get all your girlfriends together and you have a sleepover. And somebody comes in and explains not only what's happening to your body or about to happen to your body, but then they celebrate it almost like this coming of age ceremony. Yeah. And I think in a way it's really cool. But the things that we read about it. Yeah, were ridiculous. Are fucking creepy. Like red cakes. Like yeah. Yeah. And with ovaries on them, and yeah, it was weird. Yeah, too and, much. and a Come very on. frank, graphic discussion of what's happening to the body to the point where they made party favors and they have presentations and all that. Yeah, yeah. now I think health class should be covering this, and also, by the way, moms, moms, yeah, or grandmas. I mean, I don't want to assume anything about your no, household, yeah. but somebody should be there <laughs> to explain these things to you. Right. I mean, what did your dad explain to you? <laughs> to, uh, you're looking at me yeah. yeah about periods yep well you, you fucking bleed and bang it you had nine <laughs> n- you, you had nine periods this week just complaining yeah, about work. exactly <laughs> i can't believe they expect me to show up again tomorrow yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well no that's i mean that's fucking too far come on no it's, jesus christ i mean i, I went mean, to this, like why not just uh, like because they're saying it because it's a natural function of the body and yeah, stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, it's a natural function, but it's, but it's a private thing, too. It's it, not... It, yeah. Not Maybe not Maybe not all girls are comfortable with that. Or even or even if they are at the time, maybe when they, they're older, they'll be and like... And not only that, how do you explain hell, that? You know? Like, yeah. I mean, you, you have a daughter. If one of her friend's parents called and said, hey, I'm having a sleepover this weekend, 
you know, can you can your daughter come? You'd be like, yeah, thinking they're going to watch movies and have pillow fights and eat popcorn and whatever. Well, that's you know, the thing. That's kids. one thing. And then you Hold realize. On, you're giving Mike a boner, you know. Yeah. That. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, that go, that, listen, that, that goes that goes to another point well, I have. I, there's nothing fucking. Go ahead, God. No, but what I'm getting at is so. And then your, your daughter comes back the next day looking like she saw a fucking ghost. Yeah. Right? <laughs> because all of a sudden, maybe it hasn't happened for her yet or you know whatever. And. What the fuck is that? Well, that's well, the thing, I, I think too. The, the whole party goes out the window. The party yeah, definitely the word goes out the window. Comes in. Man, yeah, you know, you, all of a sudden, fucking handing out fucking tampon well, body you gotta th- yeah. and fucking ovary cakes. Well, you got you to gotta think about what about, the, what about the girls that haven't had it yet? You know well, what I mean? What and I'm then saying, they feel yeah. ostracized and, and like left well, out. Yeah, that's a good point. And, you know what is I mean? there going to be some judgment? Of course. Like, the, you of know, there's because like, every they class could. has that one girl who's got like a, a fucking double D rack. Yeah. Okay, yeah. by the time fifth grade lets out. Yeah. <laughs> and I, you know, and she's sitting there and bouncing around and going, yeah. You know, and yeah, she's and probably gonna, been gonna bleeding gonna for years. Kids left out, and it, it, it actually, it's a good thing to celebrate it, I guess. But in in in, 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 in you a, know, be private, private about it. Okay, you, you know, like, I, I mean, I don't know. I'm not a woman, but I mean, I would figure <laughs> like the wife would say, "Hey, all right, you had your period. Okay, this is this is you know whatever. Have a this mom is, daughter yeah, day. Yeah, a mom yes. daughter day. Go out. That is what you should do. Go, go to do Great some Wolf sh- Lodge. Yeah, go, go bleed in the pool. <laughs> 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 I don't fucking care. But Why does this have to be a party? It's just yeah, fucking, exactly. It's more just, importantly, this so, and I got to cut you off. Go but ahead, go why ahead. does there have to be an organized party? There are two charities right now. One called Bloody Good Period. Yeah. So are again, with serious? the fucking Brits. Yeah. <laughs> and the second one with the name I'm not entirely sure I understand. The Cup Effect. The the Cup, cup effect. Effect. Cup effect. They're teaming up and they're hosting period parties, and over the course of the evening. The people that host them, like, I guess you hire a DJ and then, like, party hosts. They cover everything the girls need to know about cups and periods and a small group of like-minded babes. <laughs> and they also <laughs> hand out real. tampons, sanitary napkins, which are maxi pads for yeah. the uneducated, and uterus-shaped cakes. Yeah. What the fuck? I, I would never, I would hate myself as a woman. I guarantee you, if this is British, because it's called Bloody Good Period, and one <laughs> word I left out of the description was fannies, so oh, I'm yeah. assuming that it's That's British. definitely British. Okay, the suicide rate in Britain is about to go up way high, because if I come <laughs> home from that party, I'm ready to eat it. That's I just think uh, the Facebook pages will be fun. Hey, are you going? Click yes or no. Yeah, yeah the invites. <laughs> the yeah. invites. Yeah, welcome to so-and-so's, our hemorrhage so-and-so's holiday. Someone's so interested in going to an event near yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, click on it. Bang. <laughs> Period party. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, I, I just check maybe every time because you're fucking gross. But I mean, yeah. it's, it's bad because, but, it, I mean, the parents feel like they're, they're empowering, you know, and helping their kids out through something. But the, the Well, that aunt- makes you the perfect thing, person for my question. And I don't mean to cut you off, but no. if you had some house bands, <laughs> if you were throwing a period party for a girl you know, yeah, what house bands would you have there? House bands. Any resemblance to the Roundup is unintentional. Because yeah. <laughs> I actually think you, would, no matter wh- who's throwing the party or what kind of music they're into, yeah. the lead song has to be Even Flow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? I don't know why, but I just, I think Duran Duran. I don't know You're why. You're a fucking weirdo kid. I don't know why. Just because <laughs> their music gives you your period? Yeah. No, because, I don't know, periods so, and Duran Duran just go hand in hand. Duran so Duran and periods. I was Durand, thinking Durand, another Durand, song Durand. called, like a remix called It's Raining Menses. <laughs> <laughs> Craig, did you have any bands? Well, I would think... Uh, Paul McCartney's wings. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think any party is complete without tears for smears. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking obviously stained. <laughs> you know that's going to happen. <laughs> oh, shit. Is Iggy Pap. <laughs> <laughs> Iggy Pop. Oh, that's way better than mine. I was just gonna go with King Crimson. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
Maroon 5. Of course. Of course. <laughs> of course it's Maroon 5. Maroon. And Simply Red. Yeah. Simply Red. <laughs> I call that a playlist. <laughs> it, right? All set. And then after that, I think there needs to be some party games. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, party if you're having games. a period party, <laughs> this can't just be a, a fucking discussion. No. And this can't just be no, a woman in front of the room explaining why the rest of your life is ruined. No, yeah. it's got to be an event. That's right. I Every mean, 30 you know. days, you are going to make some man <laughs> yeah. very unhappy. Yeah. Yeah. And then he's going to come back to you with words like, it's blowjob week. <laughs> and things like that. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to have to pretend that you don't want to do it. Yeah. But anyway, I, I think the party games right away. If you're throwing a, you know, it's raining Menses party, it's got to be pin the trail on the white dress. Duck, <laughs> <laughs> duck, duck, fuck. Who fucking stinks in here? <laughs> Fucking uh, menstrual's chairs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sitting down. <laughs> like, All the seats are stained. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Just a bunch of people standing. Here. standing. Yeah. I'm not sitting there. Um, I think you should play Simon Says. Change your tampon. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, oh. we got the all popular Red Rover. <laughs> you know that. Really focus on the color tonight. Right? Right, yeah. Right, yeah. yeah well, unfertilized <laughs> egg and spoon race. <laughs> <laughs> but I think if you're going to get a bunch of girls in a room, okay, and, and the staple of any sleepover party, period or not, it's truth, dare, or hemorrhage. <laughs> 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 I, th I mean, and if you didn't get invited to the period party, you can just wait for all the fucking coyotes hanging around inside the house, <laughs> <laughs> baying all night long. Yeah, yeah, Truth that's where they are. are. Hemorrhage. Oh shit! Oh my you take god! Take them to the beach. It's like chum. <laughs> nice, kid. Nice. I almost feel like we need an Uncle Ray story. Yeah, I know, I know, right? At least his music, honey. Oh, how you shit. feeling? I'll just but just squat time, over the over the side of the boat maybe, <laughs> for a second. It was <laughs> <laughs> just dip you in here for a minute, <laughs> like a tea bag. <laughs> <laughs> Teabagging for shock. Uh, Craig Saltwater douche. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking oh, awesome. Shit. Oh man. But, oh uh, my god. We have only two women on this network of ours. Yeah. Know, and they just blocked us. <laughs> <laughs> but then I was thinking, maybe it's a thing too, like because the like <laughs> It's you know it's a party for girls. They don't have these things, but Jews like they do the party. They, everybody celebrates cutting the kids' dick skin off. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. Oh, these parties have been going on forever, man. They've and you know what's ironic what? is the British would benefit from having a Jewish dick skin kind of party. <laughs> I tell you, there's nothing worse than putting on a porno and you see a really hot chick and everything's good. And then out of nowhere, this guy comes with that fucking turtleneck hanging <laughs> over his fucking thing. Looks like a fucking not blown up balloon. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> remember those things you used to get at the dollar store? Mike, you remember? But they, were, they, they were filled with water exactly and you squeezed them saying. and they would like, yes. they would try to like, you had to grab it. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. constantly shoot out of your hand. Yeah. yeah. Was like, like, that's fuck. what every British guy's dick looks like. <laughs> And it's really fucking annoying. So, again, <laughs> Europeans, get this shit together. I mean, I, you, we can oh, tell it's Euro shit. trash porn. You click the video, they look good, and <laughs> yeah. but you can tell just because there's this obnoxious techno, <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, it's it's always techno. Yeah, it's always some German. bullshit techno coming out of like a monaural speaker, German. and every piece of furniture in their bedroom is white. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Not so, at the end of the video. So don't make so. it so obvious, Germans. And yet, yeah, get that shit. They don't hold the parties in that room. <laughs> <laughs> no period party going on in that room. <laughs> like, like nine, so, nine, 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 nine. You have the period party going there. All the fucking everything's covered in plastic. The fucking carpet. The fucking chairs. It's like the German uh, Portuguese family. Yeah. All the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, we got to get off this topic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's move on to uh, more localized trash. Yes. Walmart. 
Because but, they haven't done enough to fuck us up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Walmart. I mean, Walmart is such low hanging fruit. I almost feel cheap and hacky for going after them. Yeah. But this is a bad headline. It's, Walmart is offering self driving cars to help people go pick up their groceries. Yes. <laughs> because the most Walmart customers aren't fat enough. Exactly. To, you know, for, to you know, get the workout that comes from turning an ignition. And getting in their fucking car. So I'm telling you, fucking, it's fucking ridiculous. Why they on plan earth? to turn America into fucking dependent fatties is <laughs> <laughs> fucking is almost fucking complete. I mean, honestly, Walmarts are everywhere. How hard is it to get in your car, get on a bus, walk to a bus get, stop? Yeah, get perish on the, the thought, you know, or or maybe just take a walk up the street to Walmart, or just call Mike for a ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. 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 Or don't that. even call Mike for a ride. Just creepily throw your kids in the back seat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there you go. There you go. We can do that too. What I want to know is though, when you get to Walmart and you arrive at your destination and the lights come over the horizon and and, and <laughs> everybody, it's like epic, like seeing the Hollywood sign for the first yeah. time. Will they just drop the fatties right into the rascal? <laughs> <laughs> or is there going to be like a short period of cardio that we don't know about? <laughs> short period of cardio. <laughs> it's so funny. You go there. I'm fucking, I want to just fucking tip rascals over the whole time I'm in there. Because it's the, the I want to take that, those things for rides. Yeah. No, none of them deserve it. None of them no, need it. No, that's the thing. It's, Most of them don't. Oh, excuse Most me. Most of them don't need it, but... my. My thing is, it's one thing if you have a legitimate disability. Being a fat fuck is not a legitimate fucking disability. Well, but in, it is wa- in, America. in Walmart, but it, it is. is. America. In yeah. Walmart, it is. And that's obviously. I mean, what's next after this? Fucking Billy Bob the Greeter just shows up at your house and shoves the fucking food directly into <laughs> yeah, your mouth. Yeah, exactly. It's coming. It's you know, bullshit, it's, man. It's going to be, you know. We already have... have delivery groceries. But what I yes. found is that, do you know, actually, what I didn't find, it was what they found is the people who are actually getting their groceries delivered are getting it delivered because they're active. And I don't have the research in front of me, but like, People are too busy. They're too, too busy. busy. And so they're doing shit. And the reason they get their groceries delivered is because they don't have time to waste in the supermarket because they're at the gym or they're oh, taking they're do- their kids' yeah. places. And, yeah. they're doing, and these are fit people. And do you know what they're buying more than anything? Produce. They're yeah. buying vegetables and fruit. Yeah. They're buying the from right Walmart? things. No, from like Stop and Shop. Oh, yeah, like the <laughs> and all that. And stuff. Because you know all those Walmart cars are going to be freaking driving around with, with fishing poles, fucking ammo. Well, that, no, this is fucking groceries purple only. Drink. This is groceries all only. All kinds of shit yeah. stick that out was the my, windows. Did you just say purple drank? Purple drank, I did. I said it. God, I swear to God. <laughs> it's, I don't it's know. Gonna, it's, there's a weird fucking black that hole and take, from Alabama to Rhode Island. That I don't know. T- <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you bring up the good point, though. Is it only going to be groceries? Because you don't just go into Walmart for groceries. Right. No. no. You also want to get a movie everything. and a stick of deodorant and, yeah. and a bunch of other things. So, Tell Dig and Night's freaking video. <laughs> you know, <laughs> grab one of those. It's out on Blu-ray. <laughs> I mean, can you buy bootleg TVs? That you yeah. can't get fixed yeah. at any other store because they're only made for Walmart. Yeah. Like, can you get those and just pile it into your car and then get the self-driving car to drive your fucking you fucking go phone. Yeah. Like, you know. No but shit. Yeah. Would you be able to but, stop and, and commit that, a crime and then get back into it and take off? <laughs> <laughs> like like a, any normal. But a, self, a company that prides itself on selling you cheap, breakable shit. <laughs> Is that who you want picking you up no in a shit. car with no Agreed. driver in it? No shit. There's going to be cars just fucking plowing into the sides of people's houses <laughs> with fucking eggs in it. They haven't figured out how to get the shopping cart right. All of my shopping carts still pull right. Yeah. And they all still roll across the parking lot every wheel time I go. Fucking wobbling. That's, right. That's going to be your car. That's how you know your Walmart cart has yeah. arrived because you see the front wheel just wobbling side to side like a fucking taco. Exactly. And I mean, shit. There's <laughs> wobbling side to side like a taco. Walmart's nice. had more people shit in the aisles. <laughs> Than fucking any other fucking. Then Mike's business. had jobs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that, but it's pretty close. This so, week, this week. <laughs> Excuse me. What do you think is going to be happening in those fucking cars with these people? Because you, I mean, that's one thing. I blow hate. jobs, drugs, Walmart, Walmart. <laughs> all kinds of shit. Take me to the Walmart, <laughs> eighty miles away. <laughs> yeah, 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 he's going to call don't, for an automatic car to just to get ahead to the, like, from his the third one. Naturally toothless girlfriend. <laughs> right, <laughs> give him fucking roadhead. <laughs> hey, honey, I'm going to pick you up. We're going Walmart. The thing, but. My thing with the, I don't know. I I think it's, people are fucking so rude. When you go to Walmart, there is fucking zero common courtesy. 
The people walk around in that place Walmart. fucking rude as fuck. It's Walmart. Not not the employees. I'm talking about the other customers. If you go in there anytime, have... like especially near a holiday, forget it. People will fucking rip shit right out of your hand like psychos. But I mean, there's just everybody's rude. There's no common courtesy. See, I... So these people are gonna get inside these cars and you think that Billy Bob's not going to be picking his nose and fucking slashing boogers under the fucking seat. Yeah, of course or, they are. You know what I mean? Or doing whatever, just being fucking gross like they normally would. I mean, would. well, well, this is only in the preliminary, pl- 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 preliminary yeah. <laughs> stages, right? So I Mike's mean, already yeah, booked they, his first car. They, they obviously, <laughs> they, yeah, they obviously have all kinds of shit to fucking to deal work. With, to and work the thing out. is, is you have to. It's not because I was th- at first. I thought, well, how many people are going to manipulate this? How many people are going to manipulate this to hop in a car, go to the Walmart, oh. get out, and go where they need to go because it's oh, yeah. closer? Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? But then that's not how it works. You actually and purchase, still get their groceries. You actually shop online. You buy it all You buy first. everything first. The car brings you to the Walmart. Yeah. The guy comes out and loads the car, and then you go. So you don't even have to get out of the car. You know See, what I mean? See, when I first read the article. at that point? Yeah. When I first read the article, So how about I this? Thought, just deliver the fucking shit to the house. That's what I was thinking. It was gonna happen. How? But. Who's the marketing guy there? No shit. The same That's guy stupid. who didn't think about the eighty mile away Walmart blowjob option. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's exactly. what I'm thinking. But I, but but you're right. It would be so much. I mean, it, it would be cheaper. Cheaper, plus less legality issues. Yeah. For them. Now you got a person. You don't have a, a human in the free. Now car. you got you got a person. But in the car you know what? That doesn't it. do. It doesn't have the advertising. Yeah, it's yeah, twice the driving time, yes. okay? Because now you got somebody in the back of a Walmart branded, probably Volkswagen and bug probably or whatever. There's some kind yeah. of scream <laughs> going on in there with all kinds of advertisements. Oh, the yeah. whole it's trying time to get you to purchase shit and your ride. Doesn't mean yeah. anything you're if right, you're not yeah. in it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, because you need people to say the quality of the ride was amazing. Right. And uh, I can't believe Walmart did this. Yeah. Exactly. But Walmart made news twice this week. They did. Because I want to get off this thing. We 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 clearly hate rednecks. We hate. <laughs> Morbidly obese people. Why do you guys hate me? Morbidly obese and a red. Mike, if yeah, you haven't listened to the first forty nine episodes and figured out why we <laughs> yeah. hate you, I don't know. <laughs> we only have you hanging I mean, out yeah, here. Do you know what those cars are gonna have? Red those cars are just gonna be rolling pits of AIDS. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Seriously, Wicked you sit bad. down. Did you enjoy your needle? And that was it. You're <laughs> yeah. just gonna get injected. Yeah, how many with people so are much be booting AIDS? heroin in the back fucking seat of the Walmart? See, fucking these car. are all things that they have to work out. Yep. No, but, it's but true. Walmart's had enough with Amazon. They've had enough with Netflix. Walmart has said, you know what? Even though we're not known for quality movies, we're going to dip our toes in these waters because we're Walmart and we fucking can. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And so they've decided they're going to be launching a video streaming service yep. that is on point with Amazon Video and Netflix and Hulu. And we said, you know what, guys? We haven't done a good roundup in a couple of weeks. Yeah. It's been a while. Do a fucking round. Let's do a roundup. What in the blue hell are going to be the Walmart video streaming service original productions? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh man, there is, and we have a bunch, and the, the, none of them are about periods. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold up. They're, no, none of them no, are about no. periods. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was actually checking myself. <laughs> you should but, check uh, yourself. Well, no, you know what I mean. <laughs> Fuck you, dick. <laughs> so, so what do you got? What do you got, Mike? Lead off. Wheel of the misfortunate. <laughs> Guarantee you. That would be there. As soon as you get in there. I was thinking of making a murderer breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh How I Met Your Mother, who's also your aunt. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> filmed in Bristol. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, Dukes of Hazard, period. Just Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> I just said there were no periods. Yeah, there were oh, no, no periods. periods. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm screwed up. Dukes of Hazard. Yeah. I, yeah. I had uh, a play on the Netflix classic, The Toys That Made Us. Wish we weren't on welfare. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a stick. Yeah. <laughs> Old documentary of a guy sticking a paper cup. That's Darth Vader. <laughs> God damn it, use your imagination. It's Darth Vader. <laughs> oh, she had the welfare office. <laughs> oh, nice. I can hear that music. Din-a-din. Yeah. Din-a-din. Welcome to Scranton. Welcome to Scranton. <laughs> Screw 
Scrooge McDuck Dynasty. It <laughs> was interesting. I'm imagining Mike diving into a room full of coins. Yeah. <laughs> They're all pennies. All pen yeah. Mike Tails. Woo. They're all the ones he got from the take a penny, leave a penny fucking thing. <laughs> Every I penny it was I've a ever two-way stolen. Thing. <laughs> you had me a take a penny. Yeah. <laughs> I had Floridians in cars stealing coffee. <laughs> nice. At Gulf of Mexico Shore. <laughs> America's biggest losers. <laughs> Perfect. Pretty much. Wait, can I do that? <laughs> and uh, Black Friday night fights. <laughs> nice. I had arrested. Uh, I'm sorry. I had arrested genetic development. <laughs> How about cheers, Ma? <laughs> <laughs> the moss sold that. That, that sold that. CSI Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one building. <laughs> <laughs> we have to go to the There's other three room. Three people. Three, three guys. Were <laughs> They're coming. like, fuck, these DNS tests are impossible. Everybody's related. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> DNA tests are impossible. <laughs> They're all the same. All the the guy same. finds jizz on a hotel wall. It's his. Yeah. <laughs> and he was never there. <laughs> He's walking in with the black light. Trying to look at his partner. There's all shit in his face. <laughs> <laughs> he goes home. Shines on lights. his own boxers and yeah. his underwear drawer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and oh, it probably oh, still oh. stars Ted Danson. <laughs> yeah. I had a Fuller Outhouse. (laughs) (laughs) Halt and catch hepatitis C. (laughs) (laughs) American nose pickers. American nose pickers. I don't know any of the show other than Cheers. I don't know any of the shows you're mentioning. American pickers? Come on. Dude, I'm sorry. I've been working. Buffy the Common Courtesy Slayer. (laughs) (laughs) That's a great one. That's good. I had Stranger Things on my genitals. (laughs) (laughs) The orifice. Uh, Game of mobility scooters. (laughs) Oh, mine sucks after that one. I had unemployable Kimmy Schmidt. <laughs> I, love, I like that one. That a good and one. House of EBT cards. There it is. There it is. <laughs> and sold. Sold. All right, fellas. I think we're at a point. We are. Yeah. Not a bad 50th episode. What do you think? No. It was awesome. No. I had good, a great time, I'll be, tell you that. Well, absolutely. It's good to be back in the flow. But uh, it's been a couple of weeks since our listeners have been back in the flow. So let's go back through the housekeeping. Yep. Um, so for social media, at NTS underscore podcast on Facebook. And again, because I say it every time, we love you. Do the same thing on Twitter. Go check us out. Uh, rumors of our show joining Instagram. There, there's no truth to those rumors just yet, but we're getting there. Yep. Um, we need to take a few more pictures that aren't so incriminating. Uh, <laughs> I got to remind me to erase those pictures. Yes, please do. <laughs> please do for all of us. Yeah. Um, also, NTS Rundowns. We haven't mentioned Christy in a few weeks. Yep. Uh, she has now made a successful move from Massachusetts to Savannah, Georgia. Congratulations, Congrats. Christy. Congrats. Yep. Uh, that said, that doesn't give you any excuse to lie to us anymore and tell us you're updating the page when you're not. So, <laughs> we love you. Well, we love you, but it won't last long. Come on. Get the fuck on. <laughs> no, she's doing a great job. Yeah, she uh, she's she's awesome. doing a lot of shit down she's there. Uh, the site is great. On. Honestly, if you've seen the work she's done already, yes. she's committed to doing this for the rest of it. She awesome. literally breaks down our episodes entirely. Line by line, minute and by minute. And she's funny about it, too. Yeah. She's, she's awesome. It's, it's, it, it's, it's funny. I, I read them and job. laugh like a bastard. And she claims she's having fun with this i know she did this for opie and anthony and i don't know why we warranted this because we're yeah, not anywhere not near that level close. but you know what i'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth I love her to death and i miss her terribly even though i never met her in person i know that she's not I here know. anymore I miss and her it actually kind of makes me sad yeah, yeah, it was kinda, yeah. yeah it kind of makes me yep. sad but i know she's happy down she's there she's living away. with her mom so life is good gotta uh, we gotta give, give another yeah. shout out because it's been a couple weeks to all of our friends at damaged goods yep. yeah craig do me yeah. a favor run through the shows for me We've got daddy issues with a Z. 
well, that that matters. That's, it does. It, SEO matters. Great yep. show. Uh, great show. Lily and Sheed. Two girls. You that hear the last one? It, yes. <laughs> they got fucking high. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then we got the flagship show, Damaged Goods. No, excellent show. Great show. We used to call him THC. He we now goes by the Golden God. The Golden God. <laughs> nice. Just glad it wasn't the Golden Shower. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert for next week's yeah. episode. <laughs> nah. Uh, great show. And we got Clay Time in the Basement. Another great show. Oh, that Clay guy's a fucking is riot. funny as a fuck. Genius man. in a basement. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. I feel like you could give that guy like a box of Triscuits. Yeah, and say okay. I need you to talk about this for an and hour and a half would. live, live, because he does that live. I don't think we mentioned this before. No, he, all of his shows are recorded live, and then unlike us, who take a day or two to edit it and put it up on yeah. the internet, no, he just releases he it just right after, shoots it right there, just yeah. flings it in the Talented internet, and he does a great That's fucking sure. job. Yeah, and so Clay, my hat is tip. Thank you for giving us a shout. Oh, I know yeah. that Craig's the only one who's been talking to you, but actually, all three of us are listening. Yeah, yeah. I'm the Definitely. only one who bought a shirt. Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, but you're the litmus test. I want to see what they look like. Yeah. If they, they come out good, I'll buy one in a heartbeat. Yeah. But, you know, I don't know Clay that well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, then, then we got Baked and Awake. We got to get in touch show. with these guys. I feel like we need to reach out to yeah. them. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. haven't made that connection yet. No. And they seem cool as shit. So yeah, cool. let's definitely do that. And then be it a testing. And you can check all those shows out at damagedgoodsinc.com. We're all listed on the page there. You can go on there. You can check us out and do it. That's it. Go, you know, go to the good-looking guys at the bottom right first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, for Especially a change, you know what, minute. guys? I don't want to do a fucking song this week. I feel like we've been promoting everybody else's bands. Yeah. I kind of want to hear the long version of our own music. Yeah. That's right. You know what? I do, too. I, I, I went through a couple of bands this week, and I actually... Spent money on stupid CDs to listen to, you know, all kinds of shit. But I think you're right, man. I want to hear that fucking music jamming. That's it. Well, in that case, so then we got nothing else to say except... Needless to say, we said it.